take us through the process with Jimmy. They were showing on TV, it appeared his shoulder was even hurting before the game, how that stood, the decision to take him out for the rest of the first half, then going back in the second half, and just his grit to push through, please. Uh, yes, I mean, obviously he's built up a resume uh, over the course of his career, uh, being able to play through various injuries. Uh, his, question, uh, his toughness will never be uh, questioned. Uh, but we had to take a look at it in the second quarter. Uh, it, you know, I wasn't feeling great coming in, and then he got jarred again. He probably got jarred in that shoulder three or four times during the course of the game. That's just usually the way it works out. Uh, but in the second half, uh, he gave us some really good competitive minutes uh, out there. You know, just gotten through it. Um, and uh, and then hopefully we'll have now a, a few days for him to, to recover. And then there's Bam, bloodied shoulder and all, but big double-double yeah. sort of being a powerful force. Your thoughts on his efforts, please. He was so big on the glass. Uh, the six offensive rebounds, but uh, everything else uh, on the defensive end, either switching onto their guards, protecting on at the rim. Uh, if, if somebody got beat off the dribble, uh, trapping when necessary, uh, and then finishing off uh, our defense uh, with, with great – um, pursuit of the ball, uh, but that's that's who Bam is. He's a winner. I'm I'm I'm, I'm so glad that uh, he's able to experience, you know, like everybody else, uh, uh, a first round win uh, where he had a major impact. And I don't care what the the stats said. Eric, the um, the earliest we play again, it's Friday. How valuable, especially in this every other day scenario, how valuable are three days going to feel like? Right? It's are, important are for, for any team. Uh, but, you know, we have some some veteran guys and and uh, they're professional, so they know how to, to take care of themselves. But, yeah, we could, we could use uh, a couple days. You know, particularly the guys that I was extending time. I played Goran a, a lot of minutes in this series. He was, he was so good. It was tough to take, take him out. He kind of took me to my follow-up. How important was it to finally get Kendrick his his you know his first playoff minutes? It was so great uh, to see that and to see everybody's response uh, to him getting in there. We knew that it it, it was a matter of time before uh, he was going to have some kind of opportunity to get in there, uh, whether it was foul trouble or somebody you know having a, uh, an injury. Uh, he's been putting in the time. Uh, these are unfortunate situations, you know, something, sometimes things aren't fair, uh, but he kept himself ready. Uh, and, and you can see how he really helps our, our basketball team. He's a two-way player. He can defend the ball. Uh, and he's an offensive guy that uh, you need in the playoffs. You need threats, guys that can, uh, that can make some shots, and, and he can do that. Hey, Coach Spo. In the three wins prior to this game, the Heat were averaging 35 free throw attempts per game. And in tonight's win, they only took 14, the last coming in the final 30 seconds of the game. What did Indiana do differently on the defensive end to limit placing Miami on the line, sir? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, they probably uh, weren't, uh, or they're probably you know, really focused on doing things uh, with more discipline uh, after the last couple of games. You know, Jimmy uh, having a shoulder um, injury with, uh, wasn't colliding into people offensively as much as, you know, he typically does. But, you know, you have to find different ways to win, and you're not always going to be able to get the 30-plus free throw attempts. And we're able to, to get enough things uh, tonight offensively uh, to get the win and the series win. Spo, you talk about making winning plays, and you see Tyler Hero come up with the offensive rebounds at the end. We talk so much about his offense, but what does it mean to see him go out there in this moment as a rookie and do what he did tonight? We need him. Uh, I don't think we have it designed in our offensive system for him to be you know, an offensive rebounder, but he, he went after the ball, and those were loose balls, and he put his nose on it. He has a knack for being around the ball, but more importantly, He's improving uh, defensively. Uh, he's learning what playoff basketball is all about, the intens intensity level, and how every single matchup and every single possession matters. And then offensively, he's uh, a, a serious weapon for us. Uh, he, he can play off the ball, which is important, but he also can have the ball in his hands and make plays for our team, and that's, that's only getting better. Treatment goes for Jimmy 
in the next few days? Do you, do you get him an MRI? How does the structure uh, work? It's, it's soft tissue. So he already uh, was checked out by uh, all of our trainers and, and everything. What he needs more than anything is just rest. And then he'll start to, to work his way back uh, into it. I asked him if he's like Wolverine, if he, if he heals like that. I have seen some other injuries that looked more significant. Uh, not than this, just they look like they're, you know, tough injuries and he comes back the next day and he's ready to go. So just for clarity, he had the MRI, it came back clean? No MRI, it's just, it's soft tissue. It's a, gotcha. Yeah. If, it, if we feel like we need to, we will. But at this point, no. Hey, Coach, um, this team has managed to break um, some kind of record every single game of this series. Um, what does that say about the team and just how they're playing together? I'm not sure, Ellie. I didn't even know we broke uh, some records. I think just the most important thing was we got the win tonight and, and we're able to close the series. Uh, you know, the veteran guys and our, and our staff have really uh, tried to impress upon our young players that it is extremely hard to win in the playoffs and even harder to, to close the series. Uh, our young guys really understood that in this series. It was, it was so competitive. There were turning points in every single game that could go either way. Unfortunately, they're in our favor. And then as you, you know, move on, competition, you know, raises and, and your game has to raise as well. Thank you, Spo. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tom.